Hello everyone, welcome back to our weekly video. Again, in this basically video, we're going to start off with various comprehension texts along with uh, our common novel, The Dream. Now, regarding our text, we're going to start off participating in and gathering information about the author's life, including significant events and influences, um, through various online resources. And then we're going to create a timeline on a larger poster, and we're going to be representing it um, in regard to the author's lifespan. We're going to think, pair, and share a lot about the author's choice of words, and we're going to be talking about some of the counter arguments that were presented. Um, in the text from basically the story itself and lastly we're going to talk about and answer the question in regard to our major theme about connections and human dignity that is is technology bringing people closer together or creating greater distances in terms of human connections and mutual understanding in regard to conventions and grammar, we're going to be introduced to various types of adverbs, especially when it comes to um, adverbs modifying manner. We're going to uh, talk about the correct spelling when it comes to effective communication. We're going to again move on to comparing and contrasting different patterns uh, when it comes to spelling rules and phonetics. Uh, in regard to our task, word and task, we're going to go on to and refer back to our book. We're going to scan paragraphs and then we're going to discuss the um, importance and the effect of you know using actually the suffix y to clarify adverbs and last we're going to move on to one of the challenging questions that is in legal documents why is the capitalization of specific terms and phrases crucial and how does it actually contribute to clarity and precision in legal language and now in regard to direct and indirect neutralization we're going to identify and interpret them and how they encourage critical thinking skills, analyze characters on multiple levels, craft characters that elevate and drive the plot uh, effectively and acknowledge the major characteristics of direct and indirect characterization of a character of their own choice, the student's own choice. Moving on to Monkey Master, the second text that we have in our week. Again, we're going to have a, a self-reading part of it and then we're going to move on to JAXA reading during the class itself. So students will develop a deeper understanding of the main ideas and share thoughts through uh, various spoken and written practices. We're going to explore the background of the author in alignment with the text. We're going to have and make personal inferences again in regard to the essential question that we have, key concept the global context itself and we're going to select various vocabulary basically words and concepts and we're going to study the effect in word choice again of the author himself herself um in, in regard to the text that we're dealing with now one of the challenge questions that we're going to be having is can you explain the importance of close bond um that the author highlights in regard to monkey master and its impact on his research um and on understanding of the natural hidden talents of animals and according to basically our major uh, themes and key concepts we're going to move on to dreamer our novel we're going to be responding to prompts and various guided questions in order for us to gain that basically general and detailed understanding of the prompts given as an example how are the alliances uh, between uh, characters established in uh, the initial chapters um, are they based on mutual goals, shared experiences, or other factors in what ways actually do the characters serve as allies to one another? And again, how would it contribute to the development of such basically a theme? That's it for our class. Um, see you next week.